This video will walk you through the entire process of wiping your iPad and re-enrolling it into the new Lightspeed MDM. Before you begin, you need to make sure your iPad is on iOS 9. To check which version of the iOS your iPad is on, go to Settings, General, About. A little bit more than halfway down, you find the word Version, and mine is on 9.1. That is the current version of iOS right now. As long as your iPad is on 9 point something, you can proceed. If your iPad is on iOS 7 or iOS 8, you need to run an iOS update before you continue. The next thing you will want to do before we completely wipe your iPad is to up, um, go back through and save all of your Metamoji notes, save all of your photos, and back up your iCloud. There are videos that have been shared with you that walk you through the steps of each of those. Please make sure you save all information before continuing. Everything not saved will be erased and you will lose it. It will not be available for you. The next thing you want to do before we continue with this process is write down your Apple ID and your Apple ID password. Your Apple ID can be found by going to iCloud. The email address listed under your name is your Apple ID. The password is the password you use for downloading apps. You need to write this down on a piece of paper. Do not write it in your notes app or send it to yourself because you will not have access to that. You also want to write down your Schoology login and password, your Metamoji login and password, and the login and password for any other app you use. Once you have done all of those things, you may continue to the next part. Now we will begin resetting your iPad. In Settings, go to General. Next, at the bottom, you want to find Reset. And we are going to erase all content and settings. You will enter your passcode. Press erase. Press erase again. Next, you will need to enter your Apple ID password, which is the password that you use to download apps. Press erase again and your iPad will begin completely erasing itself. We'll get this screen that says hello and we'll say hello in different languages. You want to swipe to open. Press English. Press United States. When you choose a Wi Fi network, select Guest, SV Guest.
when you get location services, you are going to enable location services. Set up as new iPad. On the configuration screen, choose next from the upper right hand corner. Now, you are going to take your time. At this step, some iPads will get an error message. If you get an error message, you need to press the back button and go back a few screens and try again. You may need to do this several times before it works. As more students are doing this at the same time, the more likely there will be more students getting the error message. So please be patient and keep trying. Everyone's iPad will eventually work. Once you get to the Create a Passcode screen, you are going to enter in your passcode. The same passcode you had before. This is the last four digits of your student number, and you will enter it again two times. Next, you will enter in your Apple ID. Your Apple ID should be your first and last name at student.swanvalley.k12.mi.us. Some students will have a shorter version of that. First name and last name at student.svsd.us. You were supposed to write your Apple ID down before beginning this process. Enter your Apple ID in exactly as you writ, wrote, wrote it down. You will also enter in your password. This is the password you use to download apps. It should have at least one capital letter, at least one lower letter, and some numbers. Press next to, co to continue. When you get to the Terms and Conditions screen, select Agree. Select Agree on the pop-up. Some iPads will be prompted with a two-factor authentication step. Do not do this. Choose the option that allows you to skip that. When you get to iCloud Keychain, there are two different things that may pop up. At the very bottom, you see small blue words. You want to select that. Do not select continue. Mine says don't use iCloud Keychain. Yours may say don't restore passwords. Whatever the option is at the bottom, that's what you want to choose. You want to turn on Siri. Press get started. Your iPad screen should now look similar to the iPad that is on the screen. Select the blue 
app that says pair iPad. This page may take a while to load. Once you get the mobile manager screen, your username and password are both your student number. It is very important that you sign in with the correct username and password. If your username and password do not work, do not try anything else. Let your teacher know immediately. So your username is your student number, your 300 or your 400 number. Your password is your student number. You enter the same thing for both and push sign in. If you get the save this password, push not now. If you get a box right here that says allow app and book assignments, push continue. Those may pop up in a different order. Once you see the screen that says enrolled with an orange check, you are done with this page and push the home button. Now you are waiting. You are watching your home screen and you are waiting for an app with a Viking head and a red box. Just exactly what happened on my screen. This may happen immediately for some students and may take up to an hour or two for other students. The words under the app that shows up should be HS and then your grade for high school students. It will be MS and then your grade for middle school students. If you are a student at Havens, it will say HE and then your grade. If you are a student at Shields, it will say SE and then your grade. If you have the wrong grade, please let your teacher know immediately. If you get this box that says edit home screen, push dismiss. Your apps that your teachers have decided to let you use for school will begin downloading automatically. Once the red, the icon with the red box pops up, you can then go to your settings, select Wi-Fi, and connect to the SV Wireless One network. If you are prompted for a password for the wireless, Hit cancel, that was not a pop-up for the wireless, that was a pop-up for my iCloud, which you can log into your iCloud. If you are prompted for a password for the SV Wireless, go back to your home screen and make sure that you have the icon with the red box around it. You cannot sign into the Wireless One network until that app shows up. It will happen quickly for some students, and it will take more time for others. And now you are all done setting up your iPad. Your apps will begin downloading. Some apps will come right away, and others will come in a little bit. While you are waiting for your apps to load, you should sign into your mail. Once Schoology is loaded, you should log back into Schoology and any other apps that you need to log into, your Metamoji note, once that is done loading. If by the end of the school day, your apps are not done loading, 
When you get home, you need to reconnect to your Wi-Fi. Before, you would take your iPad home and it was automatically connecting because you already set up access to your home Wi-Fi. You need to do that again tonight when you get home, if you have Wi-Fi at home. Throughout the day, your apps will load and you will be able to access them. If you have any problems, please let your teacher know. Thank you and have a great day.